one of the compelling reasons I had to both make this film and my other movie, Fly Away, uh, was to portray a different version of autism than uh-huh. gets out there. In the popular culture, there have been a lot of TV shows and movies that have portrayed a certain kind of autism, a manifestation that's sort of Asperger-like, where the the person is kind of a quirky genius or a savant. And, sure. you know, I think the impression it gives is these people go off and create the next app and live in Silicon Valley. Yeah. What's the problem here exactly, right? Right. And yes, for sure, a percentage of the wide spectrum um, manifests that way, but most are not going to live independent lives. Many are functionally nonverbal or fully nonverbal. Mm-hmm. And they're going to require lifelong services. This is a lifelong neurological disability. And there's natural lifespan. So our children outlive us. They outlive their caregivers. They outlive their families. Who's going to take care of them? And mm-hmm. they need, they require a tremendous amount of services. And if we're not telling the story right. in a way that creates experience and builds compassion so that people aren't just aware of autism but care about people with autism right then why can we then why would people prioritize to help our kids because it's going to cost a lot of money people are going to have to vote for legislation that's going to cost them taxes to help our families and our kids Mm -hmm. and so we have to get the word out not just the word not just a message but an experience so that people will feel this and feel with us 